introduction, put your hands together, the number three seed, the BC High Eagles. Tonight's starting lineup, number four, Mike Watney. Number 11, Corey Reynolds. Number 12, Drew Martin. Number 23, Hayden Carroll. Number 35, Ozzy Trapilo. The Eagles are led by head coach, Mr. Bill Lockman, and assisted by Tom Smith and Mark Flynn. Ladies and gentlemen, the Boston College High Eagles. <laughs> and now, fans, put your hands together. Number 11, Diamond Blakely. Number 33, Navon Reed. Number 13, Todd Robinson. And our apologies, a mistake. Number 35, James Nichols. The boxes are led by head coach, Mr. Robert Bowen and assisted by Emmanuel Navarros and Josue Castillo. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brockton Boxers. Fans, our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We'd now like to invite veterans and any current military personnel in attendance as you stand to please wave your hand and be recognized. A nice round of applause as we thank you for your service to our great country. And as you're all standing tonight, please, if we could direct your attention to center court in the Tiger Paw, we will now introduce the Taunton Junior ROTC color guard with the flags, the colors, and then tonight's national anthem to be sung by former Taunton Tiger and current UCLA Bruin, Miss Gwen Roderick. Welcome to the Bowen Fieldhouse. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Miles Jackson as we give you semi-final ac semi action here in Division I as the boxers will take on the traveling BC Eagles. Well, I tell you, Dom, both teams, you got the number two seed, number three seed going up against each other, other in the second round of the playoffs. Both teams got a 16-4 record, I believe. 
And uh, what Brockton has to do, basically come out like they did against Taunton, hit some shots, get some rebounds, and um, make few mistakes. And um, hopefully they can come out of here with a win. It's going to be tough because this BC team is tough, and I believe BC beat Brockton early in the year. I think, I think you're correct, but that was then, this is now. Yep, exactly. All right, so here we go. Stand by for Bro the Community Access TV Sports coverage of the Brockton Boxers and we're on the way. And we are underway this evening at Taunton High School. All right, so Eagles. here we go. Boxers. That's Let's Carroll see. now trying to work inside to Reynolds. And unassisted, uncovered was Martin for the easy layup for two. Yeah, that was a good play right there. Good Let's movement see. by the BC Eagles without the ball. Now Robinson over to Biddle. Off a of pickoff, Nichols trying to finish. Oh, nice move. <laughs> High off the glass. That was pretty. Yeah, nice scoop shot by Biddle. Now Carroll. He works around the lock name. Lock name trying to drive. Oh, and Reynolds. Reed is on the line. Oh, he's on the line. I got so excited. I pronounced Reed's name wrong. That, yeah. one, that was a beautiful play. Yeah, beautiful play by Navon on the defensive end. So it will be BC ball in the Brockton and just underway here. They work it all the way up the ones up again up to Carroll. Brockton's not watching any cutters real fast. Kicks it out to the side, the quarter and hits. Now Reed. Reed covered by Martin goes to pick off Nichols. Think about Calvin, steps back and hits. Yeah, nice stop and pop. Stepping back and hitting the shot. Brockton down by one, 5-4 early in this first period. Now Cal, the winner of this will play Mansfield. One earlier today and beat Needham. Little feed inside, floater off the glass, and it falls for Lockman. Yeah, nice shot by Lockman off the glass. Now Blakely. Thinks he sees, oh, he made him snap his ankles. Here's a shot, hit. <laughs> You're right. Ankle snaps right there nice. by Blakely. Now Carroll. Little floater. Wow. And Martin hits that shot. Here come Blakely, did it again. He just lost himself in a foul, going to travel. That was, I thought for a second he had a foul yeah. on the floor, but. Referee saw the travel. All right, so here we go off the inbound. Here comes Carroll. Covered by Blakely. Kicks it up to the far baseline, driving. Behind the back, can't go. Nice try. Great defense by the boxes under the hoop on that one. Now Reed. Reed, I thought he was going to pop that one right there. He looked like his body angles was going to let one go. Out to Blakely. Now he drives, uses his speed, kicks it out to Robinson baseline. Off the rim, won't go. Rebound, Reed for Brockton. Works it inside the Nichols. Oh, he didn't get fouled. How did he not get fouled? I don't, that I don't know. That was body contact right there. Even Nichols is pointing to his arm. He was hacked and no call. All right, so the ball's out on BC. It'll stay Brockton ball in the BC end. Works it all the way out to Reed. Loose ball on the floor. Nice hustle by Reed. Biddle lost the ball for a minute. Reed. Oh, come on. Robinson on the travel. He never had possession of the ball. No. play it did. That was still a loose ball. All right, down by three. Nine, six here. Early, halfway out. Yeah, still early in this first period. Martin now. Out the lock name. Lock name back to the baseline shot. Won't go short. There's Robinson now. It's up baseline to Biddle. Biddle on his garage and he's fouled twice. And that'll be on the floor, so that should, that's the first foul of the game. What I've seen early on, Dom, is these, uh, the Eagle front, front line is pretty quick. The two forwards, very quick, going to the basket. That foul on number four, Mike Lockman, his first personal foul of the evening. BC High for. All right, here we go. Approaching five minutes left in the first period. Blakely works around the perimeter to Biddle. Works inside the Reed. Won't get the bounce. Rebound. BC on a break. Lock name. Oh, he got blocked. And he was fouled. He was Good fouled. foul by um, Navon. 
make him earn it at the, fl at the free throw line. He blocked the shot, but he also made contact. Absolutely. That's something he's going to remember next time he thinks he has no Exactly. Exactly. He'll think about the next time he tries to go to the basket when they've on right there. He's, 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 uh, he's shaking up. All right, so he'll go to Charity Stripe, try to extend his BC lead, which is currently three. 450 left in the first period. And this is the first. Yeah, that affected him. Oh, they're going to have him caught after the shot. If I'm reading the coach. Yeah, you're reading it right. Lockman tried to wave him off, wave the coach off, saying he's okay, Number but 10, he's walking gingerly back to the bench. And that's his son. I think that's his son. Yeah. I mean, uh, what's the chances of that the same right. last right. name? <laughs> like Lockman. That ain't a common name. There's Reed looks baseline. Yes! Now driving, stopping for a minute. He had the ball, that was Reynolds. Now back to Reynolds. He's gonna try to drive, he stops. Oh, what a nice play by Robinson, picks his pocket. Yeah, he definitely did. Read it perfectly. Reed, thinking about driving, kicks it out to Blakely now. Blakely covered by Carroll. Pick off Nick, was gonna try to drive his float to high if the glass won't go. Rebound, BC high. Now in the Brockton end, baseline, Carroll kicks it out. That's uh, Martin stops, kicks it back out to the far side of the perimeter. There's a shot, and hitting is Peterson. Yeah, these BC players on the front lineup, they all seem, to, excuse me, in the uh, starting lineup can all hit shots from the outside. There's a shot, no good on the floor. Rebound, BC. And in transition, here comes the big man. He's going to try to finish. And he lost it over as Capello. Yeah, smart, smart play by uh, Navon not to foul him. Yep. 14-9, 3-15 and running. Now driving baseline. Biddle up the glass. Nice move. Can't finish. Rebound, BC high. Yeah, good defense right there by BC. Biddle made a, made a nice move, but it was too, he was being blocked too much by the defense there. Couldn't quite get the shot up. Boxers are earning every shot tonight, folks. Number 32, Isaac Lane. Number 31, Noah Oluo. Number 43, Raymond Bento. Lane comes in, and so does Olu. Now Robinson pivots oh, off the pass. Nice move. Rebound Capello in transition. Here comes Lockney. He slows it down. He sees Lane in front of him. Yeah, that was a beautiful move by, uh, excuse me, Robinson. And I think he's going to be called for the foul. That last foul. Number 13, Todd Robinson. His first, team second. All right, so Cal will go to the charity stripe, try to extend his lead, the BC lead, which is currently five. And this is the first. Aiden Cal with the line for the Eagles. Here's his second shot, 242 left in the period. Hits the second, extends the lead to six. Bento in the game now, along with Lane. Isaac Lane, his pop won't go. Rebound to Pello. In transition. Won't go. Capello there, the big man. Thinking about working on the side. Off the glass. Awesome. And easy. Yeah, a nice feed by Carroll to the big man. I'm looking at Carroll, number 23 to guard. He look, I guarantee you, Dom, he plays on the football team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. They're working all the way up the, around the perimeter now. All of them. He's going to drive big man who's fouled all day. And that's on Carroll. Yeah, nice job there by Oluwu. Drive to the basket and get the defensive foul. All right, here we go. Oluwu shoot a couple. Cut into the BC lead. 
And Xavier will Number check two, out for the check in. Eight, Reed will take a seat. Corey Reynolds. Besides Robinson, we have a fresh, fresh four players in there for Brockton. Officially 2.02 left in this first period. Hits the second. Lead is seven. Now Pika, thinking about driving, stops, kicks it back out top of the perimeter over to Martin. They switch it up with Reynolds. Reynolds gets double team. Back to Martin, over to Pika, covered by Olawu, stops. Robinson almost picked his pocket. Olawu did, and they're gonna get him on a foul. That's a nice call. That's Beautiful call. defense. Olawood and uh, Robinson teamed up on the defense, and both of them caused that turnover. All right, so here we go, 138 left. Bento now, again the lead is seven for BC High. Robinson, oh nice move by Reynolds up the glass. Oh, that was pretty. No shake and bake right there. 125 left in the period. Almost had a moving pick right there. No, nothing there, but now Piga already fouled. Pushing 115 left in the period. Driving Reynolds. You throws your shoulder wow. and lays it up the glass. Yeah, he threw his shoulder in there. Nice, nice um, little hook scoop oh, shot right up in there. Went right in. All over Robinson. Tries to go Reynolds. Thought about the shot. Bento not afraid to shoot the three. That's off. Rebound BC high. Now when Bento started off early in that time game, he made a couple of those early on. It looks like I it looks like Lane. Isaac Lane. He'll get called for that one. Both teams at three team fouls. 52 seconds and running left in this first period. Carroll now. Over to Reynolds to the far side to triple of this for three. Won't go, rebound Bento. Lane for three, that's too long. Rebound, oh they lost the ball, it'll be Brockton ball. Yep, break right there for Brockton. I tell you Dom, I'm looking at this, the way this court set, very uh, depth perception yeah. can, could play in a fact until they really get used to playing in this atmosphere. Absolutely. All of them now off the inbound. 27 seconds left in the first period. Coach Bowen. They're going to work it around. Get that last shot off. No reason to rush. Bento. Xavier for three. Won't go. Rebound, Brockton. Xavier again for three. That's too long. Rebound, BC High. Three seconds. Two, one. The shot. And it won't go. Well, they're going to call a foul on um, Xavier. So he'll go to Charity Stripe to finish this period. Xavier, his first team four. Tough, break, tough break right there, but he didn't make contact. He did. A little over aggressive. Exactly. Hits the first. The BC lead is eight right now. Hits the second. He's gonna try to go from three for three off this foul to end the half, and he does. The score at the end of one is Boston College Eagles 22. The Brockton box is 12, and I think you hit the nail right on the head when you talked about the deception and how it's thrown off the boys because they really don't look like they're gelling yet. No, exactly, and Xavier, he usually hits those outside shots early on, and he was off on his first two. But I tell you, so far, Brockton's doing a pretty good job. The only job they need to improve on is the offensive boards. They're getting one shot, and that's it. They need to fight and start fighting on the offensive boards to get second shots. Absolutely. So the boxes are going to go with Bento, Robinson, Xavier, Lane, and Oliver. BC High are going to come off the, out of this. As we, as we start the second period, they're going to go with lock name. Uh, looks like Doyle, new body in, Doyle's in. Capello, Carroll. 
And that looks like a bunch, oh, I'm sorry, in Reynolds. All right, so we're underway here in the second period. 22-12 in favor of Boston College High. Robinson back to Olu. Looks inside the Bento. Lane, thinking about shooting it, kicks it back out to Robinson, looking for that shot. Thinking about trying to work it inside back to Robinson. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Olu. Xavier for three. That's going to go. Rebound BCI. And now Reynolds is going to try to finish and he's fouled. And again, Brockton's got to be more aggressive. They got to go after those rebounds on the offensive end. And we kind of saw that a little bit in the Taunton game. At times they were just waiting for the, someone to pick up the ball. All right, so Reynolds will go to the charity stripe and shoot a couple. And this is the Starts first. For the boxers, number 11, number 20, number 33, Diamond Blakely, Trent Biddle, Avon Reed. Biddle checks in, and Blakely checks in, and Reed checks back in for the boxers. Here's the shot, hits it. Their lead is 11. Yeah, BC's doing a good job on the free throw line. Now Xavier Biddle trying to go on Reynolds, stops, nice move, bent a little jump and hits. That's a big jumper for me, a little one for him. <laughs> <laughs> now Lockman trying to go off a pick off triple. He just steps back, throws one up. Won't go. Rebound Bento. Here we go in transition fast break. Reed. Xavier has a good look. That's off. Reed now, nice save by Bettle to keep it in a moment ago. Reed. Oh, that, that's off some contact. That's how he didn't take that shot. He got hit, no call. Yeah, he grabbed his arm, no call. Now Reynolds. Works it around, almost stolen. That's tipped. Nice job by Blakely. Oh, they had the ball too. Yeah, they bumped into each other, but good defense. So they're going to say it's BC eyeball in the Brockton end. 6.26 left in the half. You know, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm looking for the shot clock. It's on the floor. There's one there. Oh, there we go. Okay. I, I said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're working down low baseline. That's Doyle. Out to Trapello. Back to Doyle. Five seconds on the shot clock. Carroll now. And that's going to be a shot clock. <laughs> Oh, maybe he got it up before the violation. Yeah, big shot right there. Big time high school shot right there at the buzzer. Six minutes left in the half. Reed. Bento for three hits. And that's what they need right there. Bento, the big man. Bring out that other uh, defensive big man out a little bit if he keeps hitting them. Keep hitting those. Now Carroll bringing the ball up for BC High. Gets it out the lock name, covered by Biddle. Thinking about stepping back. Works to the far side to Reynolds. Reynolds thinks he has a look. He shoots. And that won't go. And last touched by Doyle. 533 left in the half. And let's see if Brockton can try to get some momentum in this first half. Officially 5.30 left in the first half. 25-17. Xavier has another look. Ah, there we go. That's the wrong guy to get hot. If you're a BCI fan. Lead is five. Then Elton Xavier. Lock name inside. Kicks it back out to Doyle. Driving baseline. His floater too long. Tipped. Bento. Are they all over him? Yes. No call, but oh, they do. They, they make a call. call. They was, they're all over. Good, good call, call. Carroll. Yeah, good call. 503 left. Brockton has cut the lead to five. Now Blakely looking for a, looking for a switcher. A cut inside. Bento Bento using his body. A little reverse. Ooh. Nice job. Yeah. Lead is three. Bento showing a little athleticism going around, twisting his body underneath the basket. 
Reynolds, Doyle, Carroll now driving inside the Reynolds, back out. That was Martin, now back out to Doyle as a look, won't go, tipped. I'm gonna say it was last yeah. touch by Bento. Bento, yeah. Number 35, Fresh 30 second clock. This will be big, they need a big stop. They get some rhythm going defensively. Number 13, Todd Robinson. Oh, they cut it down to three, so they've done a good job defensively the last few times BC has brought the ball down. Robinson in for Xavier. There's a baseline shot. Won't go by Doyle. Rebound Brockton. Long break. Brittle's going to finish. And he does. Oh, beautiful pass by Navon Reed. The touchdown pass. Now locked in, covered by W. Ross. Well, it's out on, it's out on BCI. Yeah, great job by Biddle on the defense. That's on, can you see what he did? He pushed him. The great BC High is falling apart here at Taunton High School. Yeah, I hope the refs saw that. Now Reed, thinking about, kicks it back out to Biddle. He's thinking about, so it's for three. That's rebound BC High. On a break, there's Reynolds now. Now Carroll, thinking about driving, a little carry there, no call. Capella just lays it up the ground. He's a big boy, you get it. Yeah. That's 6'9, that's a 6'9 frame. He's probably about 220. All muscle. All muscle. Now Reynolds trying to drive. You're gonna say he slipped on the parquet. Number 35, James Nichols, back to the Now the ref is looking at the parquet where it's wet. Oh, that was a tough call. Looked like there was contact where he, he did trip over the, the ball player. All right, 325 left in the period. The lead is three for BCI. Brockton at one time has cut it to one. Yes. Now Carroll. Inside the lock, then, covered by Reed. They work it around again. Carroll now, trying to go around Blakely. Kicks him outside that baseline. Comes back all the way to the top, back up to Reynolds. Covered by Robson. Tripoli's gonna try to get it, because... He knows how to use his body inside the paint. If I was, if I was him, I'd, I'd do that all day. Yep, feed it to the big man. Absolutely. Blakely, over to Biddle, approaching 2.40 left in the first half. Reed, all the way over, Biddle now thinking three, inside to Nichols, he'll just lay it up the pass. Oh, nice. Nice play. Yeah, Nichols didn't waste no time. Now in a hurry, here comes Brock, here comes BC High. Boy, that was a nasty pick. It was. But legal. Lockman. That was up and down, wasn't it? Yep. That was a that was a double dribble off the glass and he's fouled. Oh, they're gonna call offensive foul. That last foul, number 35, Ozzy. He must have put his, his shoulder or something into him. That big frame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God. 2-11 officially left in this first half. 29-26. BC high. I tell you, that's, the, that's who they need to get in foul trouble, is the big man, number 35. That'll leave in the playing field. Reed drives, lost the ball. It will stay Brockton ball. Good for Reed, he smiled that off. Now in the game for uh, Brockton, it's that, that's Parent now. Parent is now in, Parent with the ball. Biddle, Robinson with a look for three. Yes. We are tied at 29. Robinson zeroed in on that, squared up nicely on the outside and hit the shot. Now Carroll to Reynolds. Reynolds driving on himself off the glass side. He's wow. A tough shot with left hand. Robinson's doing his best when you play, as a, when you play against a player as good as you are. It's hard that you're basically going against yourself. I know that's a crazy analogy, but that's what it is. You no, know? you're right, looking at yourself out there. All right, so he's gonna try to complete a three-point play. 
Try to give BCI a three-point lead. Doesn't do it. Rebound Reed. Now Reed. He steps back. Tries to go off Nichols. Now he sees a jumper. That won't go. Rebound lost the ball for a moment. Covered by BCI. Quick break. In transition, Martin to the baseline shot hits. Nice touch right there. He stopped on a dime. Hit that little eight footer. Now Robinson goes around Nichols. His jump shot, that was tipped. Yeah, you got somebody got a piece of that. A long break. Kelly wasn't ready for that ball. But was going to try to finish. That's an offensive foul all day. I mean, defensive foul all day. Yeah, man was moving. Good call by the referee. They're going to call and that on Reynolds. Number 11. Reynolds. Number 11. His first, team six. So I'm missing two guys for them on foul trouble. I'll get that at the half. Hits the first. Nice job. That's the lead to three. Yep. Bit of a good free throw shooter. Number 11. And they're really going to have to be good on the free throw line. They're going to have to be excellent this evening because they're going to need every point they can get. Biddle trying to cut the lead to two. He misses the second one. Here comes BCI. 50 seconds left in the half. They work it around. Reynolds stops for a second. Works all the way over to Carroll. Carroll thinks he sees a landing. Trying to get the mid and triple. He's covered by Bento. Give and go inside off the glass. <laughs> oh. Spin. That was a nice move. Yeah, that was kind of a prayer shot. He just kind of spinned it up. Up in the air, didn't even look at the um, rim. Now Reed. Reed covered by Martin. He's gonna drive the glass and he's fouled. Good call right there, body contact. Number 12 for BC High. Put the body on uh, Navon. Drew Martin. Drew Martin. His first, team seven. I wish there was more time in the clock to use the bonus. So I read the shoot, read the shoot. He's definitely shooting two, you would think. Hits the first one. Again, Reed is going to try to cut the lead to three with 23.1 tenths of a second left in this first half. Second one, hits them both. And yes. Reed hits both. Navon Reed pretty consistent on the free throw line. Now Carroll. Tip, great job by Biddle. Oh, he lost the ball. Yes. Oh, great job by Biddle, forcing the turnover right there. Very aggressive. 13.2 tenths of a second. They were going to have Xavier check in, but they're just going to finish the half with the guys they have on the floor. Shot clock is off. And a long pass. Tell the half will end with your score. BC High 38, Brockton 32. We have a whole other half, folks. Whole other half to play, folks. I'm not too disappointed with the way we're coming out. No, nope, Brockton played a good game so far. They just need to be, again, be a little bit more aggressive on the offensive boards. It just seems like when Brockton gets within one point or so, BC has something to come back with, and um, they stretch it back up to six points. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. You know, I'd just like to see them. You, you hit the nail on the head the first, when, when you talked about how a gym like this, as wide open as it is, you really don't know where out of bounds is. And it's a, it's a lot of real estate in this gym. A lot of real estate, yeah. As beautiful as the Rebowan Fieldhouse is, a lot of real estate out here. And anybody can get out track. You're trying to focus on a beautiful orange orange rim, and the, but you look around, you get like 15, 20 feet around you. This place is spread out wide. It is. But with that being said, it's not an excuse. Boxes need to do the job. We're just telling you what we see. All right, we'll step away. Miles Jackson and Dominic Damiano. We'll be back with Seth Hacker. Second half action right after this. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Dominic Damiano joined by Miles Jackson. 
and the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV sports crew as we get ready for second half action here at the Rabon Fieldhouse here at the Taunton High School Complex. Yeah, Brockton has to do something about, you know, once they get a little close, BCC, BC seems to have something for them, but they really need to um, D up on, on that. And also, again, I can't emphasize on the offensive boards, they really need to get more than just one shot. All right, so here we go. Here we well, you, well, you know, Brockton went out with Reed Biddle, Blakely, Nichols. Oh, the big man couldn't finish that time. That's a good sign to start the second half. Now Reed steps back. Won't go. Reynolds on the rebound for BC High. Now that's a uh, lot. A nice job by Nichols initially stepping in front. A bit of great job. Blakely helping out now. In transition, here come the boxers. Nice double. Oh, oh, oh. Simon Blakely. Went right over Ron Carroll. Nice job by Blakely. 38-34. I believe this is Doyle now in the game for the Eagles. No, I'm trying to still Carroll. Now Reynolds. Using the speed. Yes, offensive charge called against that BC High. Great Reynolds. call by the referees. Diamond Blakely definitely had his um, position. His second personal BC first. Lead is four. Yeah, Reynolds came in like a madman. Now Blakely, he's going to try to drive. Gets it over to Nichols. Nichols. Gets his own rebound, he's try it again. He stripped on the ball. And here comes BC High. Yeah, nice defensive recovery for BC High. Reynolds now, out to Martin. Martin trying to make a move, almost gets his pocket pick. Driving baseline, is Reynolds kicks up the uh, far baseline. Tries to go on to Blakely, step in front of that. And have a foul on the floor. See what they call that on. Number 11. That last foul, number 11, Corey Reynolds. Oh, good job. All right, good. I got nervous with two 11s on the floor. Yeah, Lock name tried to drive into traffic and got the ball stolen. He called it white ball, didn't he? White ball. He didn't grab him. Correction, that foul. On Brockton, number 11. Oh, come on. Terrible call. What a justice right there. There you go. Now in here he comes, here he comes Brockton Blakely. Brockton's playing a little bit more a surgeons now. Reynolds shot block. He gets his own rebound. He try to drive again. Kick it out baseline. Biddle. Now back to Blakely. Robinson back out to Blakely around the perimeter. They go. Biddle thought he had a shot, works inside the re, thinking about Nichols. Gets the big man off the glass, that's blocked. Wow. And here comes BC High around the back again, this time it won't go. And Big Tripoli won't get that one. Rockton with good offensive rebounds, that one. Defensive rebounds, excuse me, Blakely. Wow, he's hammered. He almost twisted his ankle. Number 11 again. That's that Reynolds. Foul now, number 11, Corey Reynolds. His third, team second. Diamond Blakely stepping to the line for the marcher. Hits the first. And we're gonna have a coach's time out here. Yeah, referee's gonna bring the coaches together. I mean, this is for all the marbles. Somebody's gotta go home. Exactly. So co both coaches are very intense on everything called out on the court or not called. So actually, Coach Lockham initially started it because he thought uh, Robinson was too close because initially, if you remember, Lockham pushed down Blakely. Exactly. And we have a player checking out. Yeah, Reynolds is in foul trouble. 
He's still got 541 left in the third quarter. He, like you said, he's got three fouls. Now Martin, over the lock line, trying to make a move. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he's pretty mouthy out there. I don't know why he didn't get hit with a T after he pushed the kid on the floor. Yeah. It's high school basketball. I don't know. Look, that was a lot of body contact there. No, no call. Now on a miscue. Just like that, BC high in offense. They're gonna have a foul. That last foul, number 20, Trent. It's not a shooting foul. No. 5.07 left in the third period. 40 36, and Robinson almost picked Carroll's pocket. They work it all the way over to Peterson. All the way to the far side. Thought he had a look, stopped, worked at the top of the perimeter back to Peterson. And they lost the ball. You know what they did? They didn't know how to get into that Brockton defense is what the problem was. Yeah, Brockton's playing good defense, making um, BC work for every shot here in the third quarter. Robinson for three. Bang! Three Big shot right there for the boxes. Now Martin. Peterson has a look. That ball's tipped. Nichols on the rebound, and then that, that better hurt. He just went to a wall. Yeah. As Carroll grabbed the show, um, Carol grabbed the shoulder. So Nichols is going to take a break. Bento in now. Yeah, let's see what Brock can do. They're down by one. Every time they get within one, BC seems to have an answer. Let's see if Brock can take the lead. Reed, and there's your answer. Spun right around. Beautiful play. The first lead for the boxers. At the 413 mark here in the third period. Triple, well, triple, excuse me. The double teaming him. He lose the ball. Great job by Brock and Blakely. Oh, he, Blakely was thinking way too fast in transition. There's a jump shot. That's tipped. Nice job by Bento. Now Blakely. Robinson for three. That's short. I thought he was on the line. Blakely was pointing the line. I think he stepped out. But like you said, this court and the depth of everything, stepping back baseline. Wow. It's Lockman. The lead is two. Reed. Too strong. Can't go around wow. Capello. Capello, I mean, just put his arms all around him. No call. So into the game for Brockton, number 25, Bill Milton, Xavier. So Biddle gets a rest. And uh, Xavier comes in. Now that's one thing we haven't seen a lot this this game um, is timeouts. Yeah, exactly. As intense as it is, as intense as it is, not a lot of timeouts. Exactly correct. And the other one is uh, just the way Brockton slowly. They're showing more aggressiveness now than they did in the first half. They showed it late, but nothing like they are right now in this third period. So they're starting to realize if we don't start playing Brockton High School basketball, we will not meet Mansfield in a couple days. Exactly. They're showing also a little urgency, which I like to see on the offensive end as far as uh, rebounds. They're getting a few more, and they're hitting their shots. So after the game, we'll try to grab another Brockton player, win or lose. So the boxers will come out of this timeout, Miles, with Robinson, Bento, Wakeley, Reed, and Xavier. And Xavier, I believe, hit his last three-point shot. And uh, for BCI, they're going to come out with Martin, Lockman, Triple A, Peterson, and Carroll. And here comes Blakely run away. 3-11 left in the third period. BC High is now down to two. Xavier sees three. Tipped. You say it was last off Reed. 
Yeah, good play by uh, BC. That kid loves him. He likes to talk a lot of trash. Yeah, he talks a lot of trash. All right, so here we go. Off the inbound, here's Martin now. Covered by Xavier. Brings it in, works it back out to Peterson to Carroll, top of the key. Back over to Locke, name, tries to go inside of the big man. Oh, and got Benko leaning the wrong way. Yeah, nice pass by Locke. Seen his man open there a little bit. Blakely with a move, his fadeaway, and he's fouled. Nice job by Blakely, going in the paint. Making his defender break his ankles a little bit. Took a little stop and pop fadeaway and was fouled. So Blakely has a chance to cut into this BC lead at the 232 mark. Down by four. Hooks the first. He definitely, definitely focused a lot more ever since the CN game, the Cambridge game. Hits the second. The lead is two. Lock name. Triple A little floater won't go. Rebound. Brockton. Xavier for three. Bang. Brockton has the lead back by one at the 210 mark. Yeah, Navon saw his man open. He knows he can hit that shot, so he fed him. Now driving his cow. Long base. Wow. It's hit for three. Blakely in transition, Reed, and he fouled. Good call, he slapped him on the arm. Lachlan's good, can't believe it, but believe it, you did foul. And it's foul number four, Mike Lachlan, his second of the evening, team four. So now Reed has a chance Avon to tie Reed the game. Shooting a pair for the boxer. It's the first. And with this one, we'll tie it up at 48. So all of them goes, and that's a good move, because Blakely was on the court 90% of that third period. Yeah, well-deserved rest for uh, Diamond Blakely. There's a second. This is the second. The lead is one. 48, 47, 150 left in the third period. Lock name. How can he just use his, his arm? arm like that? No offensive foul. Oh boy, they're letting the kids play, I guess. Now Reed. Trying to think about steps back for three. Oh, oh nice oh, job. Great job. Now Robinson. Bang. Great job. Great hustle by Al Overwood. And again, that's what they need. They need second chances on that um, on the offensive end. Now Lachlan lost the ball. Miscommunication right there, Don. Number 22, Bison Lane, that's the floor for Brockton. Robinson just made a crazy sign like they lost it. They are, they are totally unfocused right now. This is a good chance for Brockton to add their lead. Yep, two-point lead. 50-48, 1-10 left in the third period. All of them. Isaac Lane. Oh, he lost the ball for a minute. Now he's going to try to drive on the floor. Nice, nice. Third foul on Lockman. So Lockman, that's his third. Isaac Lane a little bit too quick for him. Young kid forgot the basketball when he was going to the hoop. He was so quick. Was. Number four. Uh, inbound. Xavier for three. Bang! That's what they need to lift this crowd up. 50 seconds left in the third period, 53-48. Now Carroll trying to help out his card. And an offensive foul! Yeah, he put his he put his shoulder into, I'm not sure who it was, but great defensive play by the Brockers. And like you said, BC High, a little bit rattled right now. 43.4 tenths of a second, 53-48. Brockton needs to capitalize on this defensive play right there. They need to capitalize and get, get a couple. Now Olawu. 
All over the lane. Lane gonna try to drive, he breaks his ankles, off. Oh, on the floor, we'll have it on the floor again. But that's seven, that's 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 number four, Lockman. And he's smiling, he shouldn't be smiling because it was a foul, he needs to come out. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a very gifted player. Yeah. But, you, there's a, you know, the, you gotta be able to play both sides of the game in any sport, and one of it's composure. And he, he's just, he's causing his own. Yep, that's four on him. Isaac Lane, a little bit too quick for him. That's the first. 27.2 tenths of a second, 54-48, Brockton. And now Isaac Lane has a chance to extend the lead to seven. Rebound, BC high. The shot clock is off. Oh, Robinson almost stood in front of one. Reynolds now, looking for a cutter. Gonna try to drive himself, kicks it way out to Carroll for three. That won't go, tipped. All of it on that ball. Long pass all the way up to... Ah. That's trying to Should've took his time, four seconds to go. Should've brought it down the court. Yep. Off the inbound, 4.3 tenths of a second left. Martin, over to Carroll. And that's gonna end, it's gonna end the third, third period. You see how much, now, if this was regular season, Isaac Lane goes too far and causes that foul. He had enough, he had enough composure to stop himself and just let the play finish out. Right, because it was only, when they inbounded, it was just about four seconds left. The inbound um, guy who got the ball, Carroll, I believe, he took his time. So really, when Lane made the nice defensive play, there was only about a second left, and like you said, he had to compose, just let it go. And just even the foul shots, I mean, it, Catholic Memorial was a big eye opener, a big wake up, put on your big boy pants for, for the boxers, and before, Blakely doesn't hit those free throws. He's practicing, you know, they know what they need to do, they just gotta do it. They have the ability, they have the talent, and that's why we're right now going to the fourth quarter with a six point lead. 54-48 to start this fourth quarter. Miles Jackson, I'm Dominic Dammy on the rest of the Brock the Community Access TV crew. As we get ready for the fourth quarter, the winner of this will play the winner of Mansfield. And the scary part about this um, BC High team, you know they're just not gonna go away. So Brockton has to keep their composure, play tough on defense and play tough on the offensive boards. All right, off the inbound in the BCN. Robinson, Xavier. That was Xavier, I'm sorry, Olable. Now he's gonna try to oh, he lost the ball, then I'm gonna say his last touched. Last touched by Robinson. I think he knew he did it. Yeah, I think he knew he did it. He was hoping to get a call. All right, now in the game is Peaky. For BC High, Reynolds now. Gets it over to Martin. Martin off a pick, his jump shot. That's off, rebound, Tripoli right there. Oh, he was ready for that, oh, oh, ready for that rebound. Excuse me, Trapeo, I apologize, Mr. Trapeo. All the way. Brockton has to start hitting some shots now. All the way, bounce pass, Robinson thinking about driving, baseline. Xavier back to Robinson, will wind up again. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Now always gonna try to drive, he does. Not strong enough. Lane almost came and ripped out of Capello's hand. Yeah, yeah, like you're right, not quite strong enough for Oluwu. They're working around, they're gonna wind it up with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Spinning, Lockning. And they're gonna have a foul. Gee, that was a cheap foul. I'm still waiting that for last this. foul, number 31, Noah Oluwu. So they get that to all our rule. The good thing is that BCI is in, we're in the bonus. And Brockton and BCI is a four away. Now driving the youngster high Florida won't go. Oh, 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 oh. Good for him. Yeah. Wow. That was, that was a nice, that was talent right there. No fear for the little guy, number two. Xavier. Right now, I believe BCI is on a 6-0 run to start this fourth quarter. 
Ed Xavier now back to Oliver. Lane, 10 seconds on the shot clock. He's gonna try to drive this time, use his gift. Nice little scoop. So the 6-0 run is over. And Brockton finally answers it up by four, approaching six minutes left in the game. Reynolds now. That Martin's back to Reynolds, going up for pick. He lost the ball, that's on the floor, grab the ball. And we'll have a jump ball. A Possession, BC. Yeah, so not, not a foul. Number 11, number 33, number 35. It's my move by Coach Bowen. He's getting fresh bodies with, with Reed, Nichols, and Blakely. Off the inbound in the Brockton end. There's Peaky. He's going to try to drive, kicks it back out. There's a look for Martin and hooks. Martin gets open. That kick can hit the shot. Haven't seen him miss too many this afternoon. Now Blakely. 8-2 run right now for BC High in the fourth quarter. Xavier, that's, short, that's too long. Long pass, here comes Lockman. He's gonna try to finish and he doesn't. Nice, nice job by um, Navon. Now Reynolds inside, nice job by Xavier. Blocking that sure thing because when you have the 6'9 frame under the hole, that's when it's guaranteed. Yeah, that was intimidation on uh, Lockman by um, Navon. That's why he missed a shot. So we'll have an inbound ball in the in the Brockton end with 5'15 left in the game. Pico, double team, doesn't know where to go. And that should be a time, oh, timeout, 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 Boston College High School. 5'13 left, 56-55, Brockton. Brockton has come back to take this lead, but I'm really trying to focus on the run right now. They gotta even that out and get that back because right now I believe it's 8-2 in BC's highest favor coming into this, you know, coming into this fourth period. Yeah, BC had done a nice job coming in back in in that fourth quarter, getting it together on the offensive end. All and right. also playing tough defense on the bomb boxes. All right, I'm gonna set up the next headphones for our, for our interview after here. So you heard it, one point lead by the boxes, 56-55, here in the fourth quarter. Very tight game. Looks like it's gonna be a nail biter. BC High will have the ball with 21 seconds on the shot clock. All right, there we go as we come off that inbound. They're working on Pika now. He's gonna try to drive. Kicks out the Reynolds. Stops. Lock name for three. That's short. And Reynolds grabs the ball. Reed grabs the ball, excuse me. Xavier now back to Reed. He's gonna try to drive, use his frame, and he's fouled. Nice job by Reed. The big man was moving. I don't, the big man was moving. How can he not say he did not follow? Yeah. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, uh, boy. His first team eighth, so it's automatic one and, well, one and one, definitely. No, this is two because he's an active yeah. shooting. All right, here comes Mr. Reed. Hits the next one. I mean, these Brockton boxes have matured so much since the regular season we started calling this game. They sure have, Dom. They've really matured, especially at the free throw line. Here's a second. Doesn't get the roll, but he extends the lead to two. With 450 left in this game and a 57 to 55 Brockton lead. Now Reynolds. Off a pick of triple. He steps back. He tries three. That's tipped, covered by Pico. Over to Martins, it's blocked. Great job by Xavier. Oh, really? Reynolds. You know, that big guy's in the paint way too long. Yeah. Now Reynolds turns out that should be a travel. Oh. And now, and now Triple it. That's the peak. A peak of thinking about trying to shoot the ball. Goes to his right. Kicks it out to lock name. He's inside the triple off Reynolds. He drives. We have a foul on the floor. 
I'm going to call that on Blakely. And yeah. Last foul, number 11, Diamond Blakely. His second. It was hard to see the foul. He was driving hot, but everybody was in the air, so if there was any contact, then that's a foul. You know, to his credit, Ozzy uh, Triple, uh, Tripoli, the 6'9 senior forward, hits the first. He's a, he's a lot of camping in that paint. Yeah, a lot of camping. Look, he's got some big feet. I mean, if you look at those shoes, they're pretty big. And like you said, a lot of camping in the paint, no call. 213 left in the game. Misses the second. The lead is one. The lead is two. Two. I'm what I miss. I missed something. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really I'm really doing a bad job tonight. I'm sorry. The excitement yeah. slowing. There it is. Blakely now thinking about going the other way. Now bounce past the biddle. Reed trying to move. Oh, oh. body contact. Good oh. call. Okay. Navon Reed doing a good Good call. Good job um, getting them fouls on number 35. That's his second or third. Absolutely. All right, so after the game, we're going to have the player, we're going to have the Brockton High School player of the game. And we'll just go right out here, right in front of our bench. Here's the first, hits the first. Number 43. Extends the Brockton lead. Nichols takes a well deserved rest. The Bento comes in, now we get size on size. 3.53 left in the game after this shot. Hits them both, extends the lead to four. And Reed hits both. Now Reynolds. Tom Martin. And off a pick. Feeds the big man. Oh, oh, oh what a oh, block! It oh, was all ball! That was all ball! Wow, I wish we could see that on instant replay. Maybe they thought he hit him prior to the block, that, but he hit him. We had a good, good view from this angle. I, I thought we did. That was all ball by Navon Reed denying the big man. The first. Unbelievable. Tough call. Well, you know what? All he has to do is learn from it and move on. And God willing, he'll carry it over to the uh, Mansfield game. Misses the second on the floor. Brockton with the rebound. Up by three. 330 left in the game. Reed now thinking about shooting. He's almost triple teamed. Yeah. Biddle now. Lakely. Inside the read, thinking about moving, stops, pivots. Hasn't made up his mind yet, Blakely again. Now we'll take a jump shot. Bang. And hit. He's on fire. Bang. Three, approaching three minutes left in the game. Now, Pika out to Reynolds. Driving around Robinson, he spins, kicks it out to Martin for three. That won't go. Tipped. Rebound Blakely. Should have been fouled. BC play was all over. Diamond Blakely's back. 240 now. Reed. Over to Blakely. Going inside. Robinson up wow. to the hole. Oh. Classic huge right underneath on the big man. Nice job by Robinson. 225 left. Now Lockman. Thinking about moving and he does. Ooh. Nice move by the young Yeah, nice move. Lockman for the Eagles. And a BC timeout. 216 remaining. Timeout, timeout. BCI 63-58. Brockton. Brockton has come by. I believe the lead at one time was 17. Yeah, um, it's a great job in these last few minutes on Brockton. Taking a little lead, a little cushion, but still a lot of time left in this ball game. Absolutely. Against this uh, tough BC Eagle team. This isn't the same team we saw in the first half, Miles. Yes, indeed. No, he doesn't, but he doesn't so your player, the, well, let's let the doesn't. game finish. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but yep. you do have to work, do your homework and give me, a, give us a player of the game for the fans back home. But we'll wait till the, the whole thing finishes. I don't want to give you too much stress with 2.30. I mean, I, I've got an idea, but I'm not going to say it right That's now. Fine. Even better. Even better. 
I'm not sure who called that timeout, but I know. BC High. Yeah, Brockton. Coach Bowen's got a lot of timeouts, so he should use them here. If um, if looks like BC getting a little edge uh, late in this ball game, so and Coach Bowen should not be be afraid to call some timeouts. One more, we go into the double bonus. Brockton has only have five team fouls. We'll have an inbound with 2.16 left. I said 3.30, I meant to say 2.16. And here comes Blakely. Robinson over the middle, covered by Lockney. Two minutes left in the ball game. They move it around. Blakely now sees an open, goes around the young man who's fouled. Nice job by, nice play right there. Left Diamond Blakely with a lane going against a little guy, um, Piquet. Yep. You know how smart they've definitely put on their thinking caps and totally turned that into the second half here with just their ability to read better, make quicker decisions. And what they did right there on when they brought the ball down, they spread the offense out. Before you saw Navon in the, in the middle, kind of at the uh, free throw line, and they feed it into him. But for some reason, they opened, Coach Bowen had him open it up, and it paid off. Officially 158 left in the game. Again, 63, 58 Brockton. And he hits the second one. Big shot right there. Lead of six. Two possessions. Now Piquet covered by Blakely. Works it over to Reynolds, covered by Robinson. Stop. First of all, the quarter of the perimeter tries to go inside to Lockman. Lockman, his fadeaway, that's short. Bento on the rebound. Here comes Mr. Reed. Air ball. Blakely now. Stop for a second, trying to see if he can find a cutter, I'm thinking. Now he uses speed, he can't push off like that. Nope. 124 left in the game. Biddle, great job, eight, seven seconds. Oh, he almost lost it. Goes oh, oh, oh. out of control, he was able to somehow throw it up there off the glass with his left hand. Gonna have a travel. 106 left. Brockton do a good job using a little bit of this 30-second 30, 30 clock. There's another BC. 106 left in the game. 56-58. Brockton. Even though they're up by eight points, still a lot of time in this basketball game for anything to happen. So Brockton has to play smartly. But one of the things they need to do I'm sure Coach Bond could tell him, come down slowly with the ball, take off some of that clock. Absolutely. Because right now the clock is, is against BC High. And again, fans, a reminder at the conclusion. Well, I'm kind of surprised some of the BC fans and folks are leaving. No, that was the Brockton guys taking pictures of the guys now that they were talking all that smack. Smack, big smack, yeah. And I don't see, I don't, I don't see uh, number four, Lockman. I don't see him talking a lot of smack in this last fourth quarter. It's funny, prior to the travel, Biddle was in Lockman's face, but, you know, he's just he's reminding them what the score is now, trying to get a hint, as long as you don't touch him. Yeah. Number 10, Kyle Peterson back on the floor for the Eagles. All right, Brockton will come out with Blakely, Biddle, Reed, Reed, Bento, and I feel like they're missing a player. Oh, there he is, Robinson. All right, off the inbound, they got to force the foul. I'm trying to pull full court press, Blakely down. And we are under one minute now in this evening's contest. That was a good foul right there by Biddle. Yep. Even though he didn't mean to, that was a good foul. Keep um, BC from um, streaking in and yep. getting an easy two. So it's not, now they got six. 53 seconds second left. personal foul, Brockton team six, number 35. Oh, Trapillo back to the floor. So it's, of course, it's, of course we're not in, they're not in the penalty, so Piquet, that poor kill that, that even makes <laughs> That makes even a bigger uh, foul right there, good foul. Absolutely. Lock name now. Covered by Biddle, over to Carroll. No problem, now locked him inside the Reynolds behind the back and in. Timeout, timeout, BCI, 42.4 tenths of a second left in a six-point Brockton lead. 
But Brockton is in the bonus, so any flake, any foul, the box is going to go to charity strike. Yeah, two possession lead right now for the boxers, but they need to be a little bit little aggressive here on this offensive um, down the court because yep. um, it's only two possession lead. Let uh, BC, if BC wants to foul, let them foul because they've done a pretty good job. It's one on one, but they need, if they do get fouled, they need to make that first shot. Yep, absolutely. Because if they can make that first shot, then it's a three possession ball game. They just need one more couple, one more, two more good baskets, put this away. Like you said, it's a two possession game, so. But if they can get to the free throw line, it's a three possession game. So, yep. But remember, you only got 46 seconds left. Exactly. Game. That's why it's so important. All right, so let me see. BC will go with Robinson, Martin, McKay, Carroll, and Reynolds. So the big man's out for the game, I guess. Brockton's going with Biddle, Bento, Blakely, Robinson, and Reed. And now we go to the charity strike. And we called it after we called that all the scenarios. There's one of them right there. Yep, and uh, Bento's going to the free throw line. Uh oh. And with a timeout, 39 seconds. <laughs> Who called timeout? I have no idea. Well, 27 seconds on the uh, shot clock, so. We're going to the charity stripe anyway. Oh, okay, there was a foul call. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. It's just that after the foul was called, it was a timeout call. Yep. But the, no one let the table know who called the timeout. Right now, possession arrow is in, in Brockton's favor. So I believe when we come out of this 25 seconds left in this timeout, again, Brockton 66. Um, excuse me, BC High Eagles 60. I believe there's 46 seconds left in the game. And then Miles Jackson will pick his player of the game and we'll have a chance to talk to him. How come we're not going to the charity strike? I thought guess, that just timeout, I guess. Oh, but, oh, so Coach Bowen Smiley called the timeout. Okay. I'm sorry, 39 seconds left in the game. Now Robinson, now he's fouled. Now we go to the charity stripe and we'll shoot a couple. Officially 38.1 tenths of a second. Left. Good job of Coach Bowen letting his team know get the ball to Robinson. He's one of the better free throw shooters. Absolutely. Absolutely. Todd Robinson at the line shooting a pair for Roger. <laughs> Coach Bowen, guys, he's trying to remind, give him, remind him the situation here. Hits the first. Lock name checks in, triple O checks in. Peterson and Piquet check out for BC High. No reason for anybody to be down in the, on the paint. Hits them both. Okay. 68-67. Three possession game. Now Reynolds, they move on the perimeter quick. Lock names, gets a hand in his face, stops it going the, all the way around the perimeter. And there's a steal by Blakely, tipped by... Yeah, there's no reason, good job. Yep. Shot clock is off, and they'll foul him. Nice job by um, Blakely, the junior. Smart job by the junior to um, bring it back out and, and use up the clock. Absolutely. So the Brockton Boxers will play in the South Sectional Finals, and they will take on the Mansfield Green Hornets. Well, I'll tell you, Dom, I'm going to give you my MVP player today, Navon Reed. He played a big part first half as well as the second half, using his strength and size inside, intimidating BC players on defense and making some shots on offense. The other big thing is the ability to knock down the field the charity stripe and take advantage of it. Exactly. And uh, he, um, Blakely, Blakely just hit his uh, first free throw. Yeah, it's hard to see. We've got to stand now. It's hard to see. Nine point uh, boxer lead. And BC is not talking like they were talking in that first half. 
I mean, we know what's going to happen, but, you know, after a while it gets old. I mean, I, I know if we thought our guys were getting a little carried, we would have thought we would have said something, but Coach Ball wouldn't tolerate that. All right, and the inbound is still by Blakely. He's going to let the clock run out. And he's going to go to Charity Stripe again. Blakely will go to the line and add to a Brockton lead with 13 seconds left in the game. So who's your, game, who's your player of the game? Uh, Nabon Reed. So we're going to bring Mr. Reed over. So we're going to have an interview. Make sure our camera girl knows. We're going to get an interview with, okay. This is the first. Kyle Peterson to the floor. They need to be able to see. Can you guys move Here's the other shot. Hits the second shot. The lead is 10 with 13 seconds left. And they're not even going to try to. Shot by Peterson, that's short. And the Brockton boxers will move on to the South Sectional Finals. And the final tonight from Tom High School, the Brockton boxers. You want me to go? Me? Right. And there you have it, folks. Number two seed, Brockton Boxers, come in here and gets their revenge against number three seed, BC High. And their fans go home quiet. Brockton High fans go in jubilation with a hard-fought battle here in Taunton High. BC playing tough defense all around first half and especially in the second half, keeping their composure, not letting BC High rattle them. And a matter of fact, Brockton High rattled the BC Eagles here in that second half, especially in the th um, fourth quarter. And BC had nothing to answer back with. And your Brockton boxers will go on to round three, I believe the final to the South Sectional here at, um, I believe, Taunton High. And Dom Damiano is trying to get Navon, one of the ball players over here, to. Uh, and he's got Navon, who we elected as the MVP of this playoff season, excuse me, playoff game, playing a tough game all around. Congratulations, Navon. Hi, everybody, welcome back. Miles Jackson, I'm Dominic Damiano. Now we have a place to be in our presence with Navon Reed. You kept your composure. At times you thought I thought you were going to snap, but you you buckled it down. And you did a job, great job out there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did a great job out there. Thank you. See now I get the volume right. So what was your mindset? Because you definitely we talked about how this team matured from the charity stripe, your free throws. You guys were focused in in the past. We've seen it where you guys lost your composure. What's, what was the mindset going into the second half? Because it was a total different team. Yeah, we've been facing adversity throughout the season, so we've been trying to keep our heads together and stay a team and don't pay attention to the rest. Absolutely. Now, Navon, I saw in that second half, Coach Bowen decided to put you in the middle by the free throw line, feed the ball to you. You're very strong. They weren't going to take the ball away from you. You decided you're going to go to the hoop or pass it off. Was that the game plan there in the uh, third and fourth quarter? Yes, it was. Well, great game plan. Um, how'd you feel about going up against the big guy, the big Frankenstein guy for um, BC High? I was real confident. Real confident. Yeah, I see there was a few number of times you made some great shots. I mean, great defensive um, slap backs on the big man. Yeah. All right, great job, young man. Thank you. Four Miles Jackson, I'm Dominic great job, Damiano. Thank you. And the rest of the Brockton up, TV crew. Navon Reed, Brockton moves on. They play Mansfield for the South Sectional Finals. Everyone have a good week. Congratulations again. Thank you.